I'm going to go backward for you, too. On Tuesday the 28th, I'm hearing a promo. Now, the, the promotion seemed to be coming from someone who's been observing you. So it's very possible that this be a, a boss or a parent or a professor. Um, this could be someone in your work environment through networking. Someone has been keeping an eye on you and feels that you're the right person, that you would do great in this position and that you could sort of help them or help their cause along. And they seem to think of this as being a community effort, a community cause, but you may be missing the mark. You may not be watching for this opportunity or you may think that's not part of my cause. That's not part of my community. That's not anything that I care to invest in. But then I would I would ask, why are you there? Then why are you sure? You know, so don't overlook an opportunity and blow someone off. This may not be coming around again. And I feel like it's actually a really um, it's almost like a safe environment where you could do a lot of growth now. There is talk the very next day, which is going to be Wednesday the 29th, on a new job. So for those of you who've been waiting on a new job, you're applying or debating, I think this is a good time to apply. This might also be a good time for you to transition. So if you were thinking of moving from one state to another or, you know, one residency to another, this would be a good time for you to allow for this progression to take place and understand that new opportunities are coming in but are supposed to be there. And even if they look incredibly different from where you were, so be it. I feel that it's a good thing. On Thursday, the 23rd, I'm hearing two lovers. And obviously, that's not even like maybe something else. That's straight up two lovers. If you have two lovers, if you're talking to two people, I think that um, you're going to want to be really disciplined on that day. Let's put it this way. Sometimes when we're talking to somebody and we're invested in somebody else, you know, we can allow it to go just so far that we cross that line into what's inappropriate. And I think you need to know where that line is. And I think you need to be very careful that your integrity, they wrote, is not being compromised in any capacity. But it does feel like you have some things to figure out. OK, on Saturday, the 25th, I'm hearing from maternal energy um, that is coming in to guide and direct you living or deceased that they might be telling you to get rid of some skeletons in the closet, unfinished business, stuff you've swept under the carpet. They're encouraging you to do so so that you can build your future. But I have you feeling overwhelmed by this advice, by this concept, or by this person, and feeling very much like, I don't have a voice. This person is, you know, or this situation is stressing me out. I can't do this. I don't want to deal with it. There's nothing wrong with taking the information and going back with it and spending some time recouping with your energy coming back at a later time from a calm, collected place. But it is useful information. So you are going to want to utilize that going forward.